Hello and welcome to another video for Final Fantasy XIV Patch 6.2. Today we're looking at one of the new rewards from the Faux Hollows minigame added in 6.2, and that is the first one, which is a mount. Uh, the mount in question, as you can see here, is the wondrous Lana whistle. It says, This whistle emits a shrill tone that is said to summon the legendary falcon bred to serve the goddess among merchants Rowena. So, specifically... Uh, Rowena has been classified as a goddess, which is, you know, the first bit of scary news. The second of which, of course, is that, um, you know, we've got another bird mount, which is awesome. So if we go in here and we look under the only recently added items, you'll see that there's magic prisms. Uh, there's actually a new minion we'll look at in the next video, which I got and Wondrous Lana. This will cost you 600 faux leaves. You can get faux leaves by doing the new Unreal, which has changed over uh to sephiroth uh specifically uh high end right yeah here we go containment base at seven which i'm sure will be fine absolutely fine uh that's how you would get that alternatively i do believe chloe aliapo also in idleshire if you exchange your gold certificates which you can get for three lines if you manage to do that um if you get three lines you can exchange it for one of these items including the wondrous lana whistle you can also though get a new crafted ornate set that already has five slots on it if you get three lines so it's going to be kind of more more profitable to get the gear to sell if you do have these gold certificates i'm going to be honest with you but um since the lana whistle is already down to sub nine million as soon as the patch went live people posted it for 100 million 50 million and then it went down to sub nine million by the end of the day it's probably going to be like three million something like that um, so that's the other way of getting that and of course there is obviously the, the, the market board as well So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn this and then we're gonna go and have a look at it together and compare it to the old ones Obviously, alrighty. I'm in my favorite zone also happens to have such beautiful lighting and uh, good fair weather Usually hopefully that keeps up for me to look at this one. So the new Lana as you can see is a wondrous Lana It says Summon forth your wondrous Lana, a proud bird with a fondness for fantastical tales. Wondrous Lana, under the patronage of its mistress Rowena, this enchanted falcon has led a pampered life. Able to comprehend language, it loved nothing more than to listen to Chloe Aliapo's tales, whose heroic protagonist is a, a, it as, abided to bear upon its back in contest with another of Rowena's pets. And as you can see, the hidden text says, I doubt even my falcons could keep pace with it. A quote there of Yugiri. So this particular Lana, then, you might be wondering, wait, don't we already have a green Lana? Well, actually, no. We've got the white Lana, obviously, the rose Lana, the round Lana, which is obviously the purple one, the warring Lana, which, by the way, is kind of green, but it's blue, the dark Lana, the sophic Lana, demonic Lana, obviously the firebird and now the wondrous lana so just you know in comparison this is obviously what the the warring lana looks like so in case you you know possibly think it's mistaken and i'll get fran to come in in just a second but not quite yet uh to to show it side by side and then this is the new one so on the ground obviously you've got yourself a traditional looking falcon bird i do like these mounts i like them back in heavenswood so it's nice to have another one actually um, I do think they are quite pretty and when they fly they always have lovely spell effects We've got some bright green petals and, and white petals going around and some sparkle effects What's not to love so the music on this mount you might be wondering actually so let's briefly answer that Please don't be generic. It is Generic mount music That's disappointing I was kind of hoping that they would do something specific to like Sephiroth or something, or I suppose he already had certain. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Should I? Am I allowed to be disappointed about that? I guess. But we don't really get it for the music, do we? Let's let's be honest. It is a very pretty mount to add to our collection. So if we get Fran over here and we can show you that yes, this is a new mount. <laughs> Uh, which way will Fran be coming in? That's the question. Don't quite see her. There she comes. As you can see, they're completely different. They're completely different. 
Which one do you like most? I always liked the blue one, the Warring Lana. I thought it was very, 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 very pretty. But, you know, having green... A lot of people like green. I know several people that... I don't know. A lot of people already thought this was a mount. So it just goes to show that we'd, we'd baked that into our heads that there was a green one, when in reality, there actually wasn't a green one. It was blue all along. There we go. All right, well... Let me know if you're going to get this one yet. I would advise not really wasting time with uh, Wondrous Tales or Bow Hollows, to be perfectly honest with you. If the economy keeps going the way it is today, by the time tomorrow hits, the lanners are probably going to be worth like a couple mil, probably, at least. But yeah, nice addition to our thingy. The next video is going to be on the minion, also from Faux Leafs. But from me and Fran, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. To the skies, Flirt Frambo! Woo! Wee! <laughs> Birds away! They are cool though, aren't they? I wonder what the next thing they add is. Because if it's going to be a recolor. Hmm. Interesting.